Hello and welcome back to another episode of Saxport Farm. So today you join me just as I'm finishing off subsoiling the potato field. Thought I get uh, thought I get it to done, ready for uh, next year's crop. But uh, yes, the main plan for today is I'm hoping to go and seed some uh, oil seed rape. We've got um, our arable field just uh, over the way down the road, which is ready for uh, ready to be drilled. So that's what I'm hoping to crack on with today. Get that seeded. Um, not sure if I'll get it rolled or not today, but if we can at least get it seeded today, that'll be a, a good start. Obviously, I want to try and get it in the ground um and, and rolled and fertilized before the end of october that's the uh, the window we've got so yeah i'd like to try and get uh, cracking on with that uh, today and uh yeah i'm not sure when the planting season is for potatoes yeah so we're not gonna be able to plant uh, the potatoes until next year but I thought either way, I'd uh, come and get this uh, this done. So it's uh, I'm gonna worry about it. It's done and out of the way then. So right. So here's our uh, setup for today. All ready and raring to go. So yeah, we'll uh, take this on down to the field. But yeah, canola be the um, best crop to go with. If I'd needed the straw, if we'd had the cows for a year, I'd have planted um, probably oats. But uh, seeing as we haven't to uh, use any straw yet, I thought I'd uh, just go with um, canola or seed rape. There we go, just arriving at the field. It's obviously been cultivated, so it's ready and raring to go. There we go, turn her on. And off we go. Get this field drilled. It's a decent sized field, this um, this one. But I suppose most of the arable fields on this uh, on this map are. Yeah, hoping for um, good yields. Obviously, the pH is uh, is is good. Obviously, we'll um, sort out the nitrogen. When we've got it rolled. But yeah, I am hoping to, when we've sold this year's crops, try and buy another field, try and get another arable field um, purchased. I quite like another sort of big arable field, if possible. So, I mean, I was thinking possibly field 17 it's 628,000 but the soil is very good and I just think it'd be a good field with the size it's just over the way from the cast so we could I mean it's got oats in it at the moment but we could plant oats in that keep this field as canola and that means we haven't got far to cut the straw when we come to harvest that field so yeah, that'd be quite nice if we can purchase that after we've sold this year's crops. Obviously, most of the crops, I don't think, <coughs> are best sold until January time. So we've got a bit uh, a bit off yet until that can uh, possibly happen. But yeah, that's what I'd like to purchase field-wise. Obviously, may the main thing to we want to be purchasing at the moment is uh, cattle and pigs. Want to get some some livestock going? 
on the uh, on the farm. But yeah, get this uh, this field knocked out today. Fairly nice sort of square field, this rectangular field. It's quite nice to do field work on this one. I haven't got too many odd turns or, or whatnot. There we go, that's our first headland done. I think we're going to be fine for seed. I'm hoping we're going to be fine for seed. It's not the uh, the end of the world if not. I can always bring um, a couple of bags up. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do three headlands like I usually do. And go up and down the field. I think I've probably done three headlands cultivating the field, so... Three is usually what I go for. Give us enough room to turn around. But, uh, yeah, the series is progressing nicely. Obviously, this is episode uh, 15. So, yeah going going well i'm still really really enjoying the uh enjoying the map i think it's a great map this is especially for uh farming with large equipment i am hoping at some stage to go back to court farms obviously it had an update so i'm just trying to sort the save game out with the new um updated map and we should hopefully go back to that as well. Um, and then also, I've obviously been posting my Twitch VODs edited down into smaller videos of uh, Bally Spring. So yeah, lots of uh, lots of content on the channel, which is really good. I'm really pleased I can start putting out a bit more content. Got the time for it at the moment, so I thought, why not? Obviously, the rumours are starting as well this year that there could be a possible new FS. Hasn't been officially announced yet, but... Uh, yeah, I think, um, obviously, there's lots of speculation at the moment. I'm really not sure if there will be one or not this year. My head says yes, but my gut... Mm, I don't know. We shall have to wait and see, but... Obviously there's a three year gap between FS19 and uh, 22. So it would make sense this time around if they did another three year gap, but who knows? I've got a floating dip. <laughs> I still, I mean, people would disagree with me and, and whatnot, which is fine, but I still don't feel that we've really had that long on FS22. I still feel that there's at least another year of modders making maps and giants bringing out DLCs. I think there's yeah, there's def I think I think there's another year in the FS22 left, but people would disagree with me. There's still, you know, people are asking for a new game engine in in the you know in the series and want to see different things. So I personally, with FS now, I'm quite happy where the game is. I think there's little things that you know need um 
addressing and, and fixing and whatnot, but for the most part, I'm um, I'm quite happy with the game engine. A lot of people are saying things like they want like um, a snow runner or mud runner thing. I personally wouldn't play the game if it was like snow runner or mud runner. Where you get stuck in the mud. I just yeah, I think graphic wise. It'd be quite nice to have it as good as that, but in terms of actual physics, I don't think I'd um, I'd play Farm Sim if it was like that. The main thing for me with FS is I really want to see the animals um, get a big update. You know, we saw it in a mod this year with I think is it the enhanced animal system, something like that, with. Um, Obviously, there's different breeds in there, not just, you know, <laughs> a black cow and a white cow and a black and white one and a brown one. There's actual breeds. And also, the biggest thing is I quite like, you know, young livestock like calves and lambs. That sort of, you know, breeding system in the game, you know, you can have if you put a bull in with your female cows then you end up with calves and I think that you know is a massive thing that needs to be implemented in the game there's obviously still crops but it, I think it's slowly getting to the point now where there isn't a ton of crops they can really add into the game I think orchards is still a big thing that people want, which I agree. I think orchards would be quite cool in the game. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't... Th yeah. But for me personally, I don't see... You know, a massive amount being improved with the game. I think manual attach, if they did their own sort of version of that, and that being you know base game that would be quite cool i think gps 50 50 if they could implement that as base game but that'd be quite nice then again it's a bit not the end of the world if they didn't make it base game because the mod makers would probably make it as a mod for the next fs game anyway so yeah we shall have to wait and see what they um what they do and what they bring out obviously only i think it's a week two weeks away from um the agriculture the machinery agricultural show in the uk here called Lama, where um giants have got a stand there and they're doing a uk meetup that'd be quite interesting to see how that goes i'm not attending Um, so I've got some real life stuff going on, but hopefully in the future, if they do, if this one goes well and they do something like it again, I'll try and attend, uh, attend something. I'd love if they did a farm con in the UK. That would be, uh, that'd be brilliant if they could do farm con in the UK. Uh, yeah, I um, I still think the game is is growing. You know, it's getting you know bigger and bigger and reaching bigger audiences and and whatnot. Giants seem to be doing more stuff as well, events and and things. So I still yeah don't think we're at the uh, the end of the game yet. A mere just beginning, I would say. Yeah, looking at my seed, hopefully we're going to have enough to, to do this field. <clears throat> oh, it's in a bit. I know if I was planting another crop, a cereal crop like um, wheat, barley or oats, I'd probably end up having to bring a few seed bags up here. 
But canola doesn't use a massive amount of seeds. For the most part, anyway. Yep, seems to be going well. No problems anyway. So we are halfway through the field. Still doing alright for C, which is good. Fingers crossed we'll do this whole field. Because <laughs> I really don't want to be bringing a bale of... A bale? A bag of seed down here. But I think we're going to be alright. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, well. There isn't too much of the field left to, to do, so... Got quite a good environmental score on this field, which is uh, nice. Well, on both fields, to be fair. So, yeah. a bit to get this field rolled but I'll probably do that off screen get that done I think really now in terms of the episodes I really want for the next couple anyway we really want to try and focus on the livestock so this was sort of the last field work for the time being carrots I don't think, I think we checked them last episode, but they're still not ready. Uh, no. So, that'll be, I think, the only field work we've got to do this this side of this year. Um, but yeah, I think off screen, I'm going to try and focus on doing contracts and try and get money together to try and buy some some cattle and some, some pigs. Shame, really. I mean, the only contracts I've really got at the moment are bailing ones. I haven't really got anything else, so <clears throat> I might try and do these off screen. Get a bit of money together. Oh, here comes the rain. Hoping it's just spitting at the moment. We'll try and beat it. be annoying having to stop because of the rain but uh, yeah I think next episode will probably be livestock orientated it'll either be that or the carrot harvest be, uh, be one of the two so Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, the episodes. Obviously, if you are, make sure uh, you give it a like. So there we have it, <clears throat> the field has been drilled, we've just about beat the rain, it uh, has just started to come in a fair bit uh, heavier just to be parked up, but yeah just about got it drilled before it uh, decided to come in heavy. Uh, like I say, I'm probably going to get this rolled and um, put some nitrogen on it off screen, I'll get that done off screen. 
Um, and then next episode, I want to try and get the uh, the beef cattle and the pigs. Try and get that enterprise uh, going. Or if the carrots are ready to harvest, whichever one comes first. But uh, yes, there we are. That is today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. As always, if you have enjoyed the episode, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel as well and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Would be much appreciated. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.